Happy Sunday again, Conquest Family, Conquest Church. We're back online. So next week, we're gonna be uh, going back again sa ating Star Mall um, coffee project. No, That's first floor. Hopefully, you can come there and uh, let's celebrate together every Sunday. Okay, I'm Joey Hortaleza. I'm leading um, Conquest Church. So this church started online. Um, last year, nag first time face to face kami no sa magkakaroon tayo ng anniversary pala this coming October for our first ever anniversary ng ating um, church Sunday service no first time nating mag mag um tag na dito face to face last year that it was i think October last year all right so topic for today is part 3 of real or fake or what we what what we uh, um put into a subtopic of legit check Okay, so to give you a context of it, no, last uh, a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, so sabi natin legit check. What does that mean? No, may mga nililegit check tayong mga mga gamit, right? May mga may mga um, sapatos, bag, right? Nagkalat ngayon yung mga yung mga fakes, no. So we are extra cautious, especially when we are paying at a premium price of that item, pero hindi naman talaga siya original. So in, in our life, we have those fakes that we can afford. Sometimes, di ba tayo, bumibili tayo ng mga peking bag, no? peking um, sapatos. No? I'm not fan. No? I'm not a fan of fakes. Pero sa, sa ngayon, di ba, sa mga tao, marami talaga bumibili ng ganyan. No? Lalo na yung mga luxury brands. Because yung, yung price is sobrang-sobrang mahal naman talaga. Right? But today, we're gonna be talking about another thing that we cannot afford to fake right that we can't afford to fake okay so next slide we go no for those who are on facebook and on 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 our zoom no what you can see here is an image of the lord jesus christ carrying a child okay kita ba natin okay this is jesus christ carrying a child ano kaya next explain niya dyan? right let's go to uh to the passage no so, let's check part 3, true greatness. No, Let's go to the passage. So, Matthew chapter 18, verse starting in verse 1. Matthew chapter 18, starting in verse 1. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to share your your, your word, Lord God, today. I pray, Lord God, that you uh, bless everyone who are listening, especially also me as I speak, Lord God, to your people. Use my mouth. Lord, we trust you, Panginoon, that we will receive something, Lord God, today that will change our life forever. And of course, Lord, that we will gonna be channeling our best effort into real greatness. We invite your Holy Presence, your Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. Alright, so verse 18, uh, verse 1 of chapter 18 of Matthew. At that time, Jesus' disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So apparently yung mga disciples no nagtanong sila. Sino yung pinakamatindi no, pinaka-great sa kingdom of heaven? Of course it's God no. Of course it's God, but they are referring into uh Sino kaya may yung pinaka-great sa aming 12? <laughs> Siguro yun talaga yung talong nila eh, no. How many of you you want to be great no? Lahat naman tayo eh. No? Lahat naman tayo no. Sabi diyan, sino yung pinaka-great sa kingdom of heaven? No, verse 2. He called a little child to him. So, tinawag niya yung bata. So, ito yun. Nasa image natin. Ano? Ayan. Okay. Bata, bata. Liga dito, no? So, binote niya yung bata. Or maybe, pinakita niya sa mga tao. He called the little child to him and placed the child among them. No? Yun abe. No? Verse 3. And he said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children. So, unless we change and become like little children. You will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Verse 4, Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Verse 5, And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. So, dito sa, sa, sa passage nito, very, very short, no? Uh, Matthew chapter 18 verses 1 to 5. Nagtanong yung mga tao or maybe the disciples kay, kay, kay Lord Jesus, sino yung pinaka-agree sa kingdom of heaven? Nagtanong sila. 
no so ang tanong dito is why is that we 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 want to be great diba lahat naman tayo you, we want to be great in our life right you and me no including me gusto ko maging great din naman okay and i remember reading the book of kobe bryant no yung mamba mentality no ang sabi niya doon is people spread their efforts out ano yung mga in-spread ng, ng people? Yung effort, no? Marami silang ginagawa daw masyado sa buhay. Pero siya daw kasi basketball lang. Yung sabi niya, uh, kailangan daw i-channel mo yung effort mo dun sa iisang gustong-gusto mo maging gawin para maging great ka dun sa bagay na yun or dun sa area na yun. Alright? So sabi doon is, yeah, it's, um, uh, you need to be channeling your, your, your whole energy, your efforts in that single pursuit of greatness. Yung sabi niya, besides, sabi niya, yung mga tao daw, ni-spread daw yung sarili nila, that's why hindi sila naging great sa ginagawa nila. Yung sabi niya, perhaps, or besides, greatness is not for everyone. Greatness is not for everyone. No, pero dito pinapakita na, ang dali lang naman maging great eh. No, ang dali naman maging great. I, I mean, it's not easy, no? Hindi siya uh, madali. But it is simple to be great, how to be great according to the Lord. Now, in the world's standard view of greatness, talaga medyo challenging. Ang tayo mo kailangan patunayan, ang tayo mo kailangan gawin para sabihin ng tao na great ka. Pero kay Jesus, very, very simple. And yet, not everyone is willing to do it. Okay? So, ano yung matututunan natin dito? No? I have two points for you. Number one is humility. Ano ba meron yung child? Ba't ba gusto ng Panginoon maging bata tayo? Okay, hindi yung bata na bata yung isip. Yung bata na merong pananampalataya sa parents niya. Amen? So tayo ngayon, uh, here we, ano, when we were young, imagine mo, like ako yung, yung, yung daughter ko, di ba? pag sinabi niya, dahil let's go to, uh, to this place, go to the pool, no? niyayaya niya ako. So, nakita, may nakita kami doon na dito kami sa Cebu, nakita namin yung, yung koi fish. Na, ang lalaki ng koi fish dito. So, lalapit siya doon. Gusto niyang puntaan. Tapos nilabit niya. Ay, yung, yung ano pa naman dito, walang bakod eh. Yung isang part, walang bakod. Malalaglag siya eh. Pero may trust siya sa kamay ko. Nung hawak-hawak ko siya na. Andyan na, pwede na siyang malaglag. Pero hawak ko kasi siya. Yung ganun trust na Sometimes we wanted to achieve something na parang yun, gusto natin makita yung malalaking isda. Yung, yung daughter ko, gusto niya makita yung malaking isda. Pero yun nga, wala tayong capacity to trust our parents na hindi tayo mauuhulog dahil nandyan naman siya. So sa atin, sa ating pangarap sa mundong to, no, may grunt tayong gusto maabot, pero nagtitiwala ba tayo sa Panginoon na parang bata na fully nagtitiwala tayo, wala tayong reservation of risk. Ah, baka mahulog ako, wag na lang, wag ko na lang tingnan. Masabuti lang hindi ko makita yung gusto kong tingnan kaysa mahulog ako. Masabuti lang hindi ko makuha yung paarap ko kaysa naman mahulog ako. No, walang faith, walang trust sa Panginoon. Right? Faith is trusting God. Faith is humility that you cannot do on your own. Yung gusto mong makamit sa buhay or yung goal mo sa buhay. Okay? So, sinabi dito ng Panginoon, di ba? Balik tayo sa verse, no? Okay, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest. In God's view, in His wisdom, no? Simple lang naman maging great, eh. Humility. And that is the most difficult thing, especially if you are a leader, no? Na meron kang minamanage na team, meron kang minamanage na organization. It's very difficult, of, of course, to to, uh, to, to be humble. How can I say that? Na pag ikaw ay leader ng isang malaking organization or even small organization, no? or even if you you, 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 you don't have uh, people to, to, to lead, no? pero ikaw eh, may nagawa kang mali sa isang tao, it's very difficult for you to, to apologize. Because ap- apologizing is humility. Apologizing is humility. Okay? Yung pagsusori natin dahil tayo ay nagkamali, yun yung humility natin. Kasi hindi, ang hirap niyan, lalo pag leader ka, no? nagkamali ka dun sa under mo, manager ka, or senior manager ka, or mataas ka sa isang company, tapos nagkamali ka, alam mo nagkamali ka. 
very difficult. Only those people who are humble can apologize. And where is humility coming from? Humility is coming from God. Pride is coming from the devil. Okay, number one is humility. Okay, so let's go to the number two. No, for the tie is Matthew chapter twenty, verse twenty-five to twenty-six. Jesus called them together and said, "You know that the rulers, because this is the disciples, 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 Okay lang ba kapag akit mo sa langit yung yung trono mo doon yung ano mo yung mga anak ko no sabi naman ni Jesus si si Godfather ng talaga mga pag-decide noon so eto na sinasabi ni God, ni, ni Lord no kasi nagselos yung i mean yung yung yung, yung si sampu di ba Jesus had told disciples and then yung sampu naiinis dun sa dalawa na grabe naman tong dalawa to talagang may balak talaga na ano gusto talaga sila pa yung di ba nagro-rule di ba So sabi ni Jesus, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over to them. So the rulers of the world lord it over to them. Di ba? May, may kilala ba kayong ganong, ganong boss? No? Or li, hindi leader yung ganun eh. Boss yung ganun. Yung parang lord it over. Kinokontrol yung mga under. No? And their high officials exercise authority over them. Yung mga high officials ng mga lord lordan na yan. No, talagang ina-exercise pa yung authority nila. Oy, kami, meron kami position, authority, sundin nyo kami. No? That is the lowest, uh, the lowest, um, tawag dali, to level of leadership, position. Yung ginagalang ka lang ng tao dahil may position ka. Dahil under mo sila. Pero hindi ka naman tila, talaga nila ginagalang out of will. No? Din, kasi ikaw yung, ikaw yung nasa position, wala silang magawa, susundin ka nalang nila out of No, di ba? Yung position mo. Pero that is the lowest. That is the lowest level of leadership. Sa verse 26, sabi, tan, sabi dyan, not so with you. Sabi nyo, dapat hindi kayo ganun. No? Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. How is that, no? Na sobrang baliktad naman to Lord. No? Have, you ever, have you ever realized that? Bakit kru yung tawag sa conquest? Kasi kru tayo because we serve. Di ba? Yung mga service ko sa mga sa mga restaurants, di ba, they are serving. Dapat ganun tayo, no? Bakit, bakit tinuturo natin sa Conquest Church na maging servant tayo sa mga, sa mga bagong umaaten sa atin, pa, isiserve natin sila ng free breakfast, right? Sa mga first time ninyo, sa mga first timers na umaaten sa atin before, di ba, you, you've experienced that free breakfast talaga kayo sa, sa coffee shop, right? May mga freebies tayo, mga first-timers na naglalaro sa game night natin. We serve them by giving them prizes, by preparing them a very good event, and slides, and games, and it's a lot of whole idea. Alam nyo ba yun? It's, it's, it's not easy to, to, to build games sa mga nasa Thursday natin. Okay? So sabi dito, sa mundo yung servant, mababa. Pero kay Lord, great. Ibang-iba. The question is, what is the truth? What is the truth, my friend? Ano, right? Legit check tayo ngayon, eh, real or fake? What is fake greatness? What is true greatness? And then you're gonna be considering your audience mo. Okay, is it people or is it the Lord? Because it in 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 the Bible, it no, dun mo malalaman lahat ng truth in the world. That's why it is very very important for you to read your Bible every single day. Ako nag nag nagsisend ako sa inyo. Sometimes I miss yung yung Bible study. Pero I think this morning nagsend ako sa inyo apat na days yon. Are you following that? No, if you can fa if if you can, ah, if you don't have time to to read the the last three days, you can read today. You can read what is what is for today, right? I think yung for today natin is nasa ano na ano nasa Ezekiel chapter forty plus and then um, Revelation, okay? Revelation or Daniel na palatay ngayon Daniel no Daniel chapter mo na tayong mayon today. If you cannot read yung yung Ezekiel forty to thirty, kasi no paslanan ni ni Pejo hindi siya hindi siya nakapagsende, de ba? Read what is for today. 
Because the Bible is truth. No? Ano yung sabihin natin ng truth? No? Yung truth kasi, kahit anong sabihin mo at sabihin ng iba, yan pa rin yung absolute truth. It doesn't make any effect. Y- your suggestion, your comments, your anything that you wanted to, to say about it doesn't affect the truth because it is absolute truth. For example, you don't believe in God and there is God. Your comment doesn't matter. Okay? Um, what else? Uh, God has a perfect plan for you and you don't think God has a plan for you. You're thinking about it doesn't matter. If, if God said in the Bible that He loves you, and then you don't believe yet that God loves you, okay, the truth is God loves you. It doesn't change. That is absolute truth. Para kang bumabangga sa pader. Yun ang ibig sabihin dyan, no? So, next verse, verse 27, sabi dyan, And whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Slave? Di ba? Alipin? Yun, yun ba? How to be great? Okay, let's see later. Ano yung mga definition ng world about greatness? Verse 28, Just as the Son of Man did not came to be served, but to serve and give His life as a ransom for many. Me, myself, is a God, sabi ni Jesus. Ako, bumaba ako, ng, ng, bumaba ako sa trono sa langit, pumunta ako dito para mag-serve sa inyo. Ano yung ultimate service na binigay sa atin ni God is yung pagbibigay ng sarili niyang buhay no, no namatay siya sa cross. Sa atin, yung service naman natin sa Lord, mamatay ba tayo? Hindi naman eh. Pero it will, it will require time. It will require effort. It will require, require money. Walang service sa Lord na hindi nag-require ng tatlong bagay na to. It will really, no? Kaya ako iniisip natin na parang attend ako ng Sunday service sa Star Mall, uh, mamamasahe ako. Ganun talaga, mamamasahe ka talaga. Kasi nasa mundo tayo, guys eh. The same eh. Pag magsiserve ka sa boss mo sa opisina, mamamasahe ka ba yes or no? That is of this world. Right? Why can't we absorb that? No? Na parang pag kay Lord, dapat walang gagasusin. Pero sa ating worldly, um, tawag na ito, life, no, yung ating business, yung ating career, yung ating pag-aaral, yung ating, yung ating uh, um, trabaho, we are pouring out money to those areas. How about our spirituality? No, sabi dyan sa, sa verse 28, oh, ako, God, God ng universe, pero nag-serve ako sa inyo. Kinugasan pa nga niya pa ng mga disciples. Amen? Number two is servanthood. No, dalawa na. Okay? Number one is humility. Number two is servanthood. This is what we always teach no, in, in, in Confess Church na tayo ay dapat maging humble. Huwag tayo nagkamali. No? Let's pray to God for forgiveness and repent from our sins. Pag tayo nagkamali sa tao, mag-sorry tayo mga kapatid. Let's say sorry. No, it, it, it you know what? Apologizing doesn't cost you money. It will only cost you what? None. Wala naman eh. It will only cost you your pride. Right? And is pride good? No. Because Lucifer, the, the most powerful, most pinakamatalino, pinakamagandang angel, pride lang yung nagbabasa kanya dito eh. Kaya natanggal siya sa land because of pride. Mabasa niyo yan sa Ezekiel. Kung nag-Bible reading kayo sa Ezekiel, no? Paano nilaglag ni Lord si Satanas? Si Lucifer na naging Satan because of pride. Servanthood, right? So, Let's talk about true greatness. No, how do we define it in our view as people and, and how God define it as God? No, people, uh, how people view no, or see greatness. Number one, position. Position. No, kapag mataas yung position mo sa mundang to, you're king, you're queen, you're president, you're, you're, you're government officials, you're uh, um, what else? No, 
you're a boss in in the company you're the owner you're the ceo you're 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 uh, the manager senior manager the director position ang gilit ng taong yan kasi grabe no well that is that, that's that's part right that's part no that but that is not the holistic view of greatness okay position number two, how people view or see greatness is power what do what do we mean by power money right possessions ano pa ba um yeah control dominion yan ganyan ganyan natin i-define yung greatness eh kapag hindi yan pinakamagaling pag hindi yan pinakamatalino pag hindi yan pinakamayaman pag walang position walang narating yan hindi siya great pag mahirap siya hindi siya great ang definition ni God ng greatness humble and serving humility and servanthood the question is do you want to be great yes or no of course no we want to be great Every one of us, we want to be great. No true greatness. Ano yung totoong greatness? Right? How God view greatness. Paano tinitigyan ng Panginoon yung greatness sa atin? Kapag humble tayo, tsaka kapag servant tayo. Ano mas mahirap gawin? Maging humble? Or magkamit ng mga posisyon dito sa mundo? Mas madali maging humble, right? Pero yung bula yung pride mo. But if you don't have God in your life, it's very, very difficult to ba? To, to, to be humble. Because humility, meekness, comes from God. That is the wisdom of God. Meekness. Humbleness. Okay? Servanthood. Mag-serve tayo sa mga tao. Kayo na ka mag-serve, kundi sa tao. No? Hindi ka mag-serve sa bagay, hindi ka mag-serve sa pera, hindi ka mag-serve sa sa kung kani-kaninong hindi hindi humihinga. No, tayo, nagsaserve nga tayo, di ba? Very religiously sa mga non-living things. Pero ang iserve daw natin, sabi ni Jesus, yung mga tao. Okay? Let's invite them to God. Let's pray for them. It doesn't cost any money, really, to be a servant. It, but it will cost effort. It will cost your pride to, to be removed, to be humble. The question is, are you willing to please God or are you willing to please people? Many of us, at the end of the day, no, na parang sa atin, gagawin natin yung lahat, makuha lang ang makamit lang natin yung greatness on how we define it. And then, at the end of the day, we don't want a wasted life that, that oh my goodness, I thought it was greatness, but hindi pala. What defines greatness is humility and servanthood. No, all of us one day we're gonna be, we will die and we will face God. And what people say to us doesn't really matter on that moment. What matters is what we did for God, what we did in the sight of God. Hindi ng people. Lord, marami akong fan club, maraming nag-idolize sa akin. Well, that's idolatry, no? Maraming humahanga sa akin. Ang tanong is si si Lord ba humahanga sa iyo? That's the question. Right? Pahangain mo naman si Lord sa iyo. Yung yung humility mo, yung servanthood mo. O kasi ni uno-uno nating i-serve. I-serve mo yung parents mo, nanay mo, tatay mo, right? I-serve mo sila. Ikaw yung malakas. Nanay, tatay mo matanda na tas gusto mo sila pa nagse-serve para sa iyo. Ikaw naman this time. Right? Eh kuya, hindi naman hindi naman nila ako pinalaki ng maayos, di ba? Hindi naman nila ako bigyan ng magandang edukasyon. Really? O baka yun na yung kaya ng parents mo? Baka binigyan naman na nila talaga lahat. Pero sinasabi ng Panginoon, hindi sinasabi ni Lord na iserve mo lang yung mga tao na mabuti. Yung ginawa sa'yo. Lahat daw. Lahat. Right? Let's end. Let's be humble. Iserve mo yung mga yung yung asawa mo, yung anak mo, i-serve mo, i-serve mo yung community mo. Simple lang, huwag kang magalat, huwag kang magtapon ng basura kung saan-saan. That service. Right? I-serve mo yung yung uh, yung boss mo sa opisina, galingan mo. I-serve mo yung 
yung business mo, yung mga tao, right? And of course, i-serve mo yung yung sarili mo din. Love yourself. And of course, service for God. Serve God in in, in the ministry. Bring people to Him. Kasi tayo, tayong lahat dito, wala tayo kung walang tao nag-serve din sa atin. Na naging humble, na nag-serve sa atin para dalin tayo kay Lord. Lahat tayo, produkto ng humility at servanthood ng ibang tao. And sana tayo, ikaw at ako din, is really, no, we will not stop serving God by helping other people find their way back to Him. Right? So ngayon, no, alam mo na yung tunay na definition ng greatness. It's not about positions, it's not about power, it's not about wealth, money, possession. It's not about what you achieve in the world. But of course, no, whatever you achieve in the world, if, if you dedicate it to God, that's greatness. May mga basketball player naman na sobrang gagali, pero they dedicate it to the Lord, or what, what, what they are doing. So, I, I, can, I, can, I can explain greatness also as, you know, Whatever you do that you are doing it for God, that's greatness. Especially if you achieve, no, achieve um, a certain you know level of of greatness as people define it, and then you dedicate it to God. That's also greatness. Masama bang yumaman hindi, eh. right? But if you dedicate it to God, that you are doing it to to serve more people, to to bring more people to Him. No, yung, yung pag ano mo yung yung pag play mo for example ng basketball right Stephen Curry for example he is dedicating his basketball plays to God that's part of his greatness okay he, he, he dedicates it to God not to himself right humility humility so so for us no na nagdus nating maging great humility and servant kula naman ang kinakailangan if we wanted to please God. And that is real greatness. That's true greatness. That's not fake and that is real. And one day when God and you are face to face, you will remember that greatness is not is not difficult. It is actually available to every one of us. We just need to be willing to obey God, to be humble, and to serve His people. Come on, let's pray. Let's pray together. Manalangin tayo. Every one of you, close your eyes wherever you are. Kahit sa online tayo ngayon, no? sa mga nanonood online, please close your eyes and let's pray. Lord, thank you that you have given us the true definition of greatness. We ask, Lord God, for forgiveness in times, Lord God, that we keep on really pleasing other people. That we use our position, that we use our authority, that we use um, our resources in the wrong way. We pray, Lord God, today na Ikaw lang yung audience namin. Whatever we do with Lord God, we will do it in humility. We will do it, Lord God, in in serving Panginoon other people. Thank you, Lord God, that you have used other people to to humble themselves and to, to serve us, Lord God, to guide us, Lord, just to bring us to you. Maraming salamat, Lord God. Let us do the same, Panginoon. Give us, Lord God, the the abilities, give us our God, the wisdom, give us our God, the heart to be humble and also serve other people and bring them to you. Marami, marami salamat, Panginoon. Thank you for this life-changing worldview and life-changing topic, Lord God, na talagang ma-apply namin sa aming buhay. Holy Spirit, help us, Lord God, to be humble and help us, Lord God, to serve other people. Receive from the Lord right now a new heart that is humble and your heart that is willing to serve other people even in inconvenience even in disturbance even in difficult moments because this is God who is serving other people through us this is what we are created for to be humble and to serve Lord maraming maraming salamat may give you glory honor and praise in Jesus my name we pray Amen and Amen so thank you everyone thank you for those who are watching online and thank you for those people who are going to be listening to this recorded video in our uh, social media God bless you happy Sunday or happy day kung pinapanood mo to ng ibang araw so yep may the Lord's peace be with you